Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. I'm Holier Than You One, your host for the day, I guess. We'll pick up right where we left off. Oh, for the record, I'm still gonna do those funky sounds. Hold on. There we go. Problem resolved. Today we're going to really do some card games, see if we can get some good cards. So I guess that save state I just did will come in handy, won't it? I'll go there. Ah, I really suck at this card game, so you're going to have to forgive me for that. Like I'm atrocious at it. Like I just proved there. No, get back here. I'm not done with you. No. Good God. Oh well. I'll find you later. We're in a second here. I really don't know. Yeah, in comparison with the last video, the transition from screen to screen is a lot smoother. Don't have to, it doesn't skip anymore. It's actually very nice. You know what? There has to be an easy opponent somewhere. I'll look it up later. And oh, he's back. Let's just play him again. But I'll look up a quick way to get fast cards other than running around and using nothing but um, bite mode cards and stuff you can get on Balam Island. Since that only prove pretty useful for maybe a, a one game and then we lose every one of them. there. Let's hope that works. It really doesn't. I managed to tie though. I did better than I thought I would. Yeah, that Minimog card is the rarest card he has. You know, we would be pretty wise to get it. I lost him again. Oh well. We'll get him later. Oh, for the re yeah, just so you guys know, this video probably would have been out a few days ago, but I've been kind of obsessed with playing Final Fantasy IX. If I get really bored, I think I might do a Let's Play for that one, too. Since that wouldn't be too out of the question, especially since I don't have much else I can do, since there I have family over all the all like for the next few weeks. <coughs> for those of you guys that play it, I uh, just lost the game. Oh, damn. Oh well. I think this is the last one I can do before I have to reload from that save state. Yeah, it is. So, here's hoping I don't lose, or that he goes first. Oh, come on, every card game I've played, he's gone first. This is rigged. It has to be. In no realistic situation would I go first every hand. Alright, I guess maybe some realistic situation in, like, Portugal. Alright, I guess that didn't work out. Let, let's load up that save state that I eradicated the horrid, horrid static noise in, in with. I'm gonna try again with all seven cards. 
Yeah, I just picked any random ones. Hope, oh, I still didn't go first. Gasper. Throws that down. I'll throw Festo Colon F. He plays that. I'll throw that down. Nope. It wasn't meant to be. But the second he goes first, I think I can win. Yeah, the next video we're gonna pick up with the story that we haven't really touched much on yet. And actually fight the first boss of the game. But you can't really call it a boss. And how is that a boss? Those of you that have already played this, you know what I'm talking about. But I want your feedback on that, really. What makes a boss? I just turned the tables! Um, I win. Now, let's see, I want to pick something that's an upgrade of what I have. Mesmerize an upgrade of Fungar. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take Mesmerize. And we'll use it in place of Fungar. Yeah, I hardly ever win, so... Well, it's the start of the game. I know people who, oh yeah, I'm gonna play the trading card game. You know, I've literally had to sit down and say, you're stupid if you think you're gonna win every hand your first game. And, you know, they literally sit there with that expression, well, why won't I? I have to, at that point, start being realistic and ask them, have you played the trading card game? Well, for the record, you know, all the regions that we'll go to in the game have different rules. Like, Balam, right now, has opened with a trade rule of one. Well, some of the trade rules are pretty annoying. Like, there's all, which means if you lose, you lose all your cards. There's trade, which means whatever you, you took from your opponent, you keep. Whatever your opponent took from you, he keeps. It's really, really one of the worst ways to play if you play with a lot of character cards. Because you can end up with a perfect trade off of what you started with. You know, I don't think anyone wants to have that. So, yeah. No, get back here! Get back here! He won't stay within this one map! I need him to! Yes, I would love to play a card game today. Ooh, he moved first this time. Let's see how I re he responded to that like I wanted. Okay. Played a tie. Yeah, I really need to start getting a timer so I can measure how long my video is going for. I think I've been going for about six or seven minutes, I don't know. reason 
my Batman on in the background. Batman. Show me a little kid that didn't grow up with Batman and I'll show you someone who didn't grow up with Batman. You know? Alright, so I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. I've been Holy One. This is Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. I'll see you next time.